What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan time. And um, <clears throat> this is... Um, this is something I came up with for... I know I, I showed the... Uh, kind of reduxed the uh, NFL and NBA collections in the past. And I thought I would do that. I still have to do it for hockey. I don't know exactly when I'll get to that. But I know baseball season actually uh, starts up this week. In earnest, I know they had a series last week in Japan between the A's and Mariners, but for most of the other teams, it actually it does start this week. So I thought what I would do is, um, it, it would it would be too long a video if I showed the whole uh, throwback baseball collection. So um, I figured what I would do is make a series out of it, and each week I would you know highlight a different team. I know a couple weeks ago I, I showed the Blue Jays collection, so. I mainly did that for Hometown Fitted, so I'm glad he, he enjoyed that video. Um, so I kind of got the ball rolling with that, and I thought, you know what, let me let me just kind of keep doing it that way, just show one team per video. And to start it off, uh, the series in earnest, of course I'm going to go with my team that I'm a diehard fan of, the Phillies. And I have a lot of uh, different like current player jerseys. I have some authentic jerseys for some current players. No game worn or anything like that, but you know what I mean, like authentic majestic jerseys and stuff. Um, but I figured that I would stick to the throwbacks for this jersey, and I'll show the uh, Phillies Mitchell Ness collection. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Um, the jersey I'm wearing right now is the 1993 uh, Mickey Moore and Dini road gray jersey. It's got the World Series patch there. Yes, hometown fan. I know, I know who won that World Series, but <laughs> but I uh, but it was really unexpected for the Phillies to get there that year. So you know it was still a great year for them, and they beat the Braves that year. So yeah. <laughs> tomahawk chopped that Atlanta. <laughs> uh, the only time those two teams ever met in the playoffs, the Phillies won. So there you go. But anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, um, so even though. Series didn't really end very well for the Phillies and uh, Phillies fans back then, like myself. But it was still a great run the Phillies had. And Mickey Morandini was part of the the grunge look Phillies that <laughs> that year. <laughs> uh, Macho Row they called them. But uh, anyway, uh, that is my Mickey Morandini. I actually bought this at a flea market um, last year, and uh, my buddy Mark. We talked on the phone last week, and he, he informed me, you know, the first flea market of the season is, is a week from this coming Sunday. So, you know, I'm a big fan of flea markets. I, I just, it has that old school, it just takes me back to my roots of collecting just with, my, you know, the, your own eyes and hands just rummaging through things, and, you know, you never know what you're going to find, including Mitchell and S jerseys sometimes. So, <laughs> but I found some great stuff at flea markets in years past, and I look forward to, uh, you know, the, another another flea market season. <laughs> um, but anyhow, on to the rest of the collection here. Um, at the uh, Tug McGraw, 1980 Phillies powder blue jersey, my all-time favorite Phillies jersey. I know they, they wear them like every now and then, like maybe once a year now it seems. And I kind of wish they would just wear them as like an alternate or something like that because they're just, they're just too sweet. Um, big fan of those. If you ever see Phillies games on TV um, at Scissors Bank Park or even on the road, a good amount of Phillies fans are wearing the maroon or the, or the powder blue because it's just they're, it's just a great color combo and it's just such a classic look. So you'll 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 notice a lot a lot of lot of Phillies fans wearing those, including myself, <laughs> watching Phillies games and stuff. So it's, it's just a great look. But at any rate. Not maroon or powder blue, but green. <laughs> 1981, Tug McGraw, um, St. Pat's jersey. Uh, we got the 1976 Dave Cash, powder blue. I think any baseball collector probably has a powder blue Phillies jersey in the collection somewhere. They're just really nice. It's a dual patch from 76. The All-Star game was at Veter Veteran Stadium in Philly. And there's the Centennial for the National League patch. And the 1976 home white lefty, Steve Carlton. 
I hope they get his 1972 jersey this year. I know Mitchell Ness is making the powder blue with just the 32 on the back, like the big 32 no name on the back. So looking forward to that one. Hope to pick that up at some point. Don't know when, but at some point. And like it was for the Dave Cash, it's got the dual patch. That jersey I got at the Super Bowl sale some years ago. And we got Mike Schmidt's 19... Well, this technically is the 1980 jersey, but I turned it into the 83. So I put that patch on there that the Phillies wore back in 1983, celebrating their 100th anniversary. I always get a lot of compliments for it. Um, just because it's something different. You don't see it too often. Um, and, of course, the Phillies... It was a good year for them. They went to the World Series that year, lost to the Orioles, but they had a you know, great year that year. And then we got the 1980 Mike Schmidt powder blue. And the 1979 Saturday Night Special Mike Schmidt. This is one of my favorites in the, in the collection just because it's a unique jersey. You don't see it too often. And this is the older Made in the USA version. You can always tell because it has the Japan Series patch. I know they kind of reissued these jerseys a couple years ago, Mitchell Ness did, but this is the old, when the National and American League All-Stars went over to Japan to play the Japan All-Stars, I believe, or maybe like a, a, a very good team or something like that in Japan that year before the season started. I was only two back then, so I don't really remember. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, that's the story behind the patch. And, of course, Mike Schmidt was one of them. Went over there and played. Uh, and this was my all-time baseball grail. And I got it a couple years ago off uh, Jersey Central. But it's the 1989 Mike Schmidt Road Gray. It's a, another dual patch jersey. It has, of course, the name on the back. But it's, it's got the All-Star logo. Um, I believe that year they played California Angels Stadium. Back then, they were California Angels. Now, of course, the L.A. Angels of Anaheim or whatever. But uh, that's my all-time favorite Phillies logo. I remember that one from when I was young, the Independence Hall logo. Just a great look. Um, and, yeah, so that, that completes my Mitchell Ness Phillies jersey collection to this to date. Like I said, I want to get the 1972 Steve Carlton Powder Blue when it comes out at some point this year or maybe – I don't know, maybe the Super Bowl sale next year or whatever. Some sale, I'll pick it up. But um, that's definitely one that I want to get. I want to get a Gary Maddox Phillies jersey, too. I know Mitchell Ness never made one. I really don't know why they never made one. They made so many of the other Phillies from that time period. But Gary Maddox, maybe he just can't get his rights or whatever. Uh, but he was a center fielder back then. Um, just a great player for many years with the Phillies. So I think Majestic made it like a Cooperstown collection jersey of it, so I might just get that one. But you know, I want to at least get a Gary Maddox in the collection, Maddox in the collection, some at some point. Um, and another jersey that I want to get at some point, I don't know exactly when, because I have to I have to combine a few coupons and something for this because it's 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 kind of pricey. But the Phillies last year wore, I want to say it was the like the 1984 or something like that, home white pinstripe jersey, kind of reminiscent of the, the Steve Carlton and Mike Schmidt home white that I have of that era. But they wore it for a home game last year on retro night against the Padres. And now Padres were wearing their away brown jerseys from that time period from 84, um, the 84 season. And the Phillies wore their home white and it had the, um, the, in, the, uh, Independence Hall patch on the on the sleeve. That's what they wore in that time period. Um, and I really like that jersey. I just think it's such a sharp looking jersey. I know Majestic made them, and at the local Models they have them for Roy Halladay and Cliff Lee. And they, Cole Hamels was pitching that game, but nonetheless they they made those jerseys for for sale for Halladay and Lee. And uh, I would like to get one. I'd like to get a Roy Halladay because I have an authentic Cliff Lee already, so I'd kind of like to get a, a, a Doc in, in that jersey. Uh, it's just such a nice-looking jersey. And uh, like I said, it's at Models, and it's like that jersey never goes on sale. It's like all the other Philly stuff is on sale but that. It's like every single time, I'm like, yeah. 
But every now and then, you know, you get the coupons in the mail and stuff. Like if you spend this amount, you get this amount off. Plus, I'm an MVP card member for Models, and if you get to, I'm almost up to my next reward. It's like twenty dollars off your purchase. So I'm kind of hoping, <laughs> at some point, once I get that up to that reward, that some coupon will come and I can, you know, combine the two, stack the two, and uh, you know, pick up that jersey in store. And I want to get it in store because the majestic, the newer jerseys, they kind of run differently the sizes like an XL kind of fits like a large so I gotta like try stuff on you know I want to make sure it fits right and everything and, and before I pick it up um, but uh, but I definitely hope to get one of those uh, I think it's like the 1984 reminisce like the redux of the 1984 season uh, jersey that they wore last year the home white and it's just a great looking jersey so I want to get one so I'm hoping at some point during the Philly season to pick that that up and uh, we'll see what happens <laughs> with that. But I've been meaning to get I wanted to get it last year, but it just, the darn thing never goes on sale. So I, <laughs> it's like never on the internet, you know. It's it's like it's one of those jerseys. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. It, it taunts me. Every time I walk in there, too, I see him like, <laughs> why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I will not pay full price. I will not do it. <laughs> But at any rate, um, we'll see what happens with that. But that is what my hopeful purchases for the future for Phillies throwback jerseys. Um, you know, never know. Uh, but so next week, I don't know what the team will be. I'll figure it out. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. <laughs> but um, I will pick that team, and I will show the throwbacks that I have for that team. And I'll, like I said, I'll do it week week to week until I run out of teams. So, <laughs> um, so there you go. So just something to look forward to for Mighty Fan week to week in celebration of baseball 2012. Um, Non-baseball related, I wanted to show this hat because I know Hometown Fitted's had a video uh, a little time ago with his Toronto, Toronto Raptors gear. And... It reminded me of this item, and I know he's all about the vintage hat. And it reminded me of, of this hat, this Toronto Raptors hat. There it is, the old snapback. This is an old New Era hat, too. So it's an old snapback hat. And I actually picked this hat up and many, many years ago during the inaugural season of the Raptors, believe it or not. This hat was picked up the first year that they were in existence and I got this hat back then because as I made mention of in, in that video I was a fan of Damon Stoudemire of course he was the rookie of the year that year he was the first ever draft pick by the Raptors drafted by Isaiah Thomas as many years ago and uh, I was a I was a big fan of his because we all remember what his nickname was right you just have to <laughs> That's right. So me being a big fan of Mighty, when I you know heard about Damon Stoudemire and his fandom for Mighty too, with the tattoo and everything, became a fan of his. <laughs> and um, you know he had he had some good years in the NBA. He was the Rookie of the Year that year. Mitchell Ness hasn't made his jersey yet though. Come on, Mitchell Ness, let's go. You make it. You make a bright big country Reeves jersey, but not Damon Stoudemire. Come on, <laughs> show a little love. <laughs> For Mighty, you know? I mean, hey, I mean, I... <sighs> but anyhow, <laughs> if they ever make that jersey, this is what I want Mitchell and Ness to do. If they ever make that jersey on the on the, on the the uh, tag for it, I want them to put an image of Mighty on there. That's right. <laughs> on the little hang tag, I think, you know, like they do for the Michael Jordan jerseys with the card, you know, the redux of the... Those cards. I think they need to make a little tag with Mighty Mouse on there with the basketball. You know, <laughs> I think. Hey, come on, Mitchell. That's all the times I plug you. You get you gotta show a little love. <laughs> but take one of Mighty Fan suggestions to heart. But anyhow, <laughs> um, anyhow, yes, I was a fan of his, and I have his champion replica jersey somewhere. I still have it. It still fits because it was an XL, and I can still wear it. I just don't know exactly where it is at this point, but I have it somewhere. And if I do find it, I'll definitely wear it in a video sometime. But I picked up this hat, long story short, 
as many years ago to go with the jersey because even back then even back then in my infancy of jersey collecting it was all about the swag factor so i had to have the hat to go with the jersey so you go in fact this reminds me i just saw these starting to appear to make appearances at at lids and it reminded me of getting them back in the day like that raptors hat they're making, well, fitteds, but of the older NBA logos from the 90s. And that reminded me of this Pistons hat that I had. Because I saw the same exact hat as a fitted at Lids the other day. And this one's a snapback. Now, this is the original ones, you know, from back in the day. And I had a Grand Hill jersey. So, again, you know, the swag factor. So, <laughs> I had the hat to go with it. And it just, it just reminded me, you know, seeing those old logos, it, it was from the 90s, so it was my wheelhouse for basketball. And I saw that piston sound, like, I have that, only in a snapback, but there it is. Same colors, the teal and the black, you know. But I just got a kick out of seeing them at the lids the other, uh, like, a couple weeks ago or whatever. But anyhow, that's the story behind... The Toronto Raptors had, again, an old New Era fitted. It's got the Eastern Conference logo on the back. I know you're a fan and a collector of vintage hats, and this is definitely a vintage hat from back in the day. This was, um, like I said, from the inaugural season of the Raptors. It was many years ago. Maybe one of the first ever Raptors hats, mate. So <laughs> there, there you go. But anyhow, um, anyhow. Uh, that's going to do it for me for this video. Uh, as always, a big shout out to all my subscribers and fellow Jersey heads and family and friends. Uh, to all my subscribers, all my newest subscribers, thank you all so much for subscribing. Keep hitting that subscribe button, everyone else, for me and for all my other fellow Jersey heads as well, and sneaker heads and collectors of whatever you know. You just want to subscribe to them because you never know what you're going to see in their videos, like Mr. Crispy Corn. You never know what you're going to see. <laughs> Shout out to Jake, too, Mr. Crispy Coy. I want to see that, that dog of yours. Shout out to Jake <laughs> from Mighty Fan. So there you go. <laughs> um, reminds me of a dog that my, my dad had when I was very young. Kind of resembles him, although Jake's a little bigger than that dog. <laughs> but similar, you know, with the hair over the eyes and all. So, uh, But anyhow, um, I've rambled on too long, so I better I better stop. Uh, Mighty Fan can keep going, though. I can do my little dance, too. Want to see that again? Come on. <laughs> it's going to be showing up in clubs near you pretty soon. Yeah, that's right. And the people, and people in the music world, like Ball Track and uh, D is in Dodgeball, T, T is in Terrace. <laughs> I love the openings of his videos. <laughs> uh, you know, you guys are in the music, and you know, someday. So I'm just saying, someday the Mighty Fan might be coming to a place near you. Yeah, but any, anyhow, um, okay, I'm running on fumes right now, so I got to go. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, as always, like I said, big shouts to everyone in the game, everyone on YouTube, to everyone around the world. This is global. All right, Mighty Fan, Mighty Fan's going to come get global now. So that's <laughs> big shouts to everyone. I really got to go now, so I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace. Bye. Go Phillies in 2012.